Welcome to Wandering, I'm Shane Woodford. Today we are visiting the beautiful Aesco slot on the island of Foon in Denmark. Aesco is easily reachable from Foon's largest city, Odense, which sits on the main highway and rail lines connecting Ulan to Copenhagen. From Odense, it's just a short hop south by car or public transit to get to the castle. Aesco slot is one of Europe's best preserved moat castles. While it has a certain fairy tale enchantment, the 466 year old castle was not built for looks, but rather defense. 1534 was a time when muddled lines of royal succession and a religious schism between Catholicism and Lutheranism had ignited a civil war in Denmark called the Count's Feud. Today, Aesco is one of the biggest tourist destinations on Foon, offering museum space, exhibits, the castle itself, outdoor activities, including a maze which is going to take you longer than you think, and sprawling grounds and gardens. For families, the playground area is massive and guaranteed to be a big hit with the kids. The castle grounds outside the museum and play areas offer plenty of green space to wander with hidden nooks and crannies awaiting discovery. The gardens themselves are rated among the most beautiful in all of Europe. What you will see in the gardens of Aesco depends on when you go. For example, in the spring is when the tulip gardens bloom, bursting with color. In the spring, you'll also find the castle's peacocks on the prowl, strutting around the grounds, showing off their iridescent plumage in an effort to woo a mate. A.S. Sko in Danish means oak forest. As the legend goes, a literal forest of oak trees had to be cut down for the in-the-lake pilings that make up the castle's foundation. When it was first built, it was entirely surrounded by water, the only access point being the drawbridge. When the summer heat arrives, so do the crowds. This is when the fires are lit so people can enjoy the Danish tradition of smørbrød. This involves taking some dough, wrapping it around the end of a stick, then baking it over an open fire. Once it's done, you slide it off the stick and chow down while enjoying some roving entertainment. Aesco has 10,000 square meters of museum space, where you'll discover a staggering array of vintage cars, trucks, and even airplanes. This is one of the most intriguing vehicles, a pre-World War EV, a Milburn Light 1921, an electric car made in Toledo, Ohio. If four wheels aren't your thing, ASCO has plenty of the two-wheel variety to keep you occupied, with all the brands you know and probably more than a few that you didn't. There's even an exhibit with RVs of old, or camping bone in Danish. It goes on and on, emergency vehicles and hey, if you fancy a bite, Dracula's Crypt. The castle and its 66 rooms are half exhibit space and half off limits, being the home of the current count and his family. Inside, you'll get a taste of life in the nobility, from the Louis XVI furniture, trophies from big game hunting, to knights of old. Titiana's palace is a marvel. It took British officer Sir Neville Wilkinson 15 years to complete. His daughter, believing there were fairies in their garden, asked her dad to make them and their queen a proper home. 
accounts of ASCO in more feudal times needed dueling pistols to settle arguments. While dueling has vanished, the tradition remains. The current count went with a matching pair of paintball guns. In the castle loft, there's a toy exhibition along with the wooden doll. Legend says if it's ever moved, the castle will crumble into the moat on Christmas night. As autumn arrives, the temperature falls along with the leaves. At ASCO, it's Eula Market, or Christmas Market season, and that means it's time to do a little rearranging. In Denmark, Christmas is a magical time, and people love their Eula Markets. It's a chance to buy some presents and, of course, sample some of the local vintage. Outside, the fires are lit again, this time to help keep people warm, and to enjoy panikair, or Danish pancakes. Similar to a crepe, it's traditionally done over an open fire. Then add some strawberry jam, a sprinkle of icing sugar, roll it up, and mmm, so good. ASCO ends every season with a nighttime light show called Luminous, where the grounds and the castle itself erupt in a feast for the senses with a dazzling array of lights, color, and performance art. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next Wandering.